Good day, ship spotters. Today we are going to be covering VS Grand Tour's latest and grandest brand new vessel, the Seacat Oasis. For today's video, we will be taking the bike to Cebu route, and after a short stay in Cebu, we will be back for another return trip from Cebu to Kalmayog. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so good day, ship spotters. So this is Sikat Oasis. This is a brand new vessel built by PT Kahaya Samudra in Batam, Indonesia. And it has a length overall of 39 meters, a beam of 10 meters, a 390 gross tonnage, and a speed of 25 knots. So tara, let's go! First stop is embarking the vessel. From the port's gate, you have to walk all the way to the port's terminal. Passengers are required to line up and show their tickets and documentation upon boarding the vessel. First impression of the interiors, it's sleek, clean, and modern. Seats are comfortable as well. Not to mention it is very spacious and not too cramped, unlike other typical fast crafts here in the Philippines. In the midsection, there is a storage space for luggages and other sorts of cargoes. And at the back, it is the tourist class. In front of the tourist class is the ship's canteen. They sell light snacks such as biscuits, noodles, water, soda, coffee, and many more. At the rear end are the comfort rooms. Left side are for females and right side are for males. So here's the comfort room. Clean and not too shabby. So right here is the VIP room. It is an enclosed cabin with four seats inside. About the legroom on first class seats. As you can see, there's a whole amount of space and it's actually pretty spacious. To kill off the time, I grabbed my laptop and edited some videos for the group. Another great feature of this vessel is its ambient mood lighting, which changes into different types of colors that suits to the passenger's mood or feel on board the vessel. As we're approaching Cebu, let's grab some noodles and coffee.
Finally, we are here at Cebu City's Kertres. We have arrived in Cebu in just 5 hours. The premium tourist accommodation will cost you about 2,000 pesos per ticket for the Cebu to Calbayog and vice versa route, while the tourist accommodation is at 1,800 pesos per ticket. You know that both the Seacat 1 and Seacat Oasis have the same vessel designer? They were both designed by NCAT Crowder, a world-renowned Australian naval design company that specializes in high-speed catamaran vessels. However, Seacat Oasis has a different design compared to the earlier Seacat 1. 